Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. How's everybody out there doing today? We're going to try and hunt down another boo so we can throw some hamsters in some people's faces, man. All right. So we've got another uh, Commander Legends 2 Dungeons & Dragons Battle for Boulder's Gate. <gasps> Set booster box. That's a lot to say in one sentence there. They like to put a lot of words on these boxes now. What happened in the old days? Invasion. Prophecy. <laughs> All right. So... Inside of our set marks, if we can get it to stay open. We got our little boo, got our little blurb thing, a little advertising. That's about it. Nothing exciting here. The draft box got a lot more cooler stuff with it, little cardboard thing. But anyways, let's break in here, see if we get anything exciting. I know a little bit more about the set now than the first uh, set box opening I did, because I knew nothing about it at the time. Didn't know about all the new mechanics and all the background and all that, so we're going to check it out now that I know a little bit more about it and see if there's anything good in here. Check out the description below while we're doing this, because or when we're done. Oh, nice signature. Love your signature. It's so, so fabulous. Uh, because <laughs> there's a lot of good links down there saying you might get to cash back on all your purchases. And all those links really help out the channel. So I appreciate it when you guys click those and do stuffs. All right. Let's kind of get organized here. We got our both showcases, our uncommon reds. Kind of weird. We're just going to keep everything together. Mindstone, good guard. I expect values to drop on a lot of these. <laughs> all right. Our first rare. Oh, wait. Did we get a background? Where's our background? We're supposed to get a background out of your pack, aren't we? Or is that just draft packs? That must just be draft packs. Okay. So we got our first legendary creature, a rare. Oh, there's the background. It's after the rare. That's weird. Or was that? Oh, okay. Legendary creature. And then... Okay. Everything's all out of order. I'm awake. All right. Background. Legendary creature for a rare. Then we got our etch foil dungeon delver. And then our other rare, the send from Avernus. And another rare, okay, Alondo the Seer, foil. So we got three rares on that pack. Yeah, and then our Undercity and Initiative token. All right, but everything's all wacky out of order like uh, Dominaria was. All right. Takes me a second. I'll get it. Well, now that I actually know what to look for. Big brain. Look at the big brain on bread. Yeah. Basic land. Showcases, commons and commons. Nobody cares about any of that. Until we get to the background. There's the background. Far Traveler. For the background. Then our etch foil is an uncommon. Minthara, Merciless Soul. I think doing uncommons on the etching is goofy. Uh, uncommons and commons. This should just be rares and mythics. Earthquake Dragon. For a rare. And a uh, regular foil. I guess we'll put all the foils together. And a perpetual timepiece for our first list card from Kaladesh for Uncommon. All right. Keep going here. What pack are we on? We're talking pack three or pack four? Pack three, okay. I was going to say, we don't have any Mythics yet at all. Mythics are seem to be in rare supply. Moss Diamond, cool. You would almost say they're mythical in this set. <laughs> Veteran Soldier for our background. Uh, Shadow Heart for a rare. And another background. Nine Fingers Keen for our etch foil. I pulled him so much. Shameless Charlatan for our uh, next rare. And then a bandit for a foil and a demon token. Yeah. I seem to get that Nine Fingers Keen quite often. Uh, I've gotten quite a few of them. And I haven't opened a lot of product yet, so that's weird. Uh, it seems pretty kind of like we're going along that Strixhaven thing to where it's, uh, the sorting is not very good. Uh, Alondo the Seer for a rare, and then Street Urchin background, uh, Uncommon Etch Foil, and then Gory Unwise Mentor for the next rare, and a regular Uncommon Foil, and Initiative Under City Token. Yeah, so, very weird set. Um, the track printing seems to be Kind of goofy, just like, just like since Strixhaven, we've been having problems with the track printing to where we end up getting like three of one rare and none of another rare in the same box. So it's definitely goofy. All right, there's a flaming fist again, and another flaming fist. <laughs> it's well, sculpted sunburst, and a common foil and a construct token. First time I've seen that one. It's like a 
weird French C-3PO. Okay. Yeah. There we go. I don't know how to do C-3PO with a French accent. I was going to try it, but I just saw it going down in flames, and yeah, I opted out. All right. John Arenicus, Shattered One for a rare. Criminal Pass for our background. Dynair, Invoker Adept for our, our Etzwall rare. And then a Gale's Redirection for a regular rare. So three rares in that pack. Uncommon Fall and a Skeleton Token. All right. Third of the way through the box. Still no mythics at all. Um, I've heard that. Uh, nice, nice autograph again. Yeah, we got two autographs, but they're both just the silly little plane walker stamp. Uh, not very exciting. Another far traveler. Mm -hmm. Astral hunter and candle keep sage and kingpin for our etched elder brain for a rare. Gory Unwise Mentor in the regular border for a rare, second rare, and a uh, Decanter for a common foil, and a Ghost Way from Guild Pact. So, basically a, a blink for all of your uh, creatures. <laughs> so, now for our next list card, but still no Mythics and no Rare Lands. The Rare Lands are also very difficult to get in this set by the looks of it. Uh, I've only gotten at the maximum one in a box, and uh, I've only gotten the same one. And all three that I've gotten out of all the stuff I've opened so far, I've only got Sea of Clouds. So that's it. Uh, another Nine Fingers Keen. I get so many of these. I think that's the second one in this box already. Uh, veteran Soldier for a background. Our etched foil is just common. There we go. Finally, a Mythic Packed Weapon for our first Mythic. Hopefully, not our only one. And common foil and a copy token. All right, about halfway through the box here, only a one minute. Very disconcerting. And also no, no lands yet. So, our card, basic. We'll see what happens, but hopefully we get at least one or two of the lands. Uh, visitor and cleric, a sign of halabaster or halister. And then our etch foil is a rare, the Zevlar. I'm not going to try and pronounce the rest. Then Elder's Pact, and an Uncommon Foil, and a minigame. So yeah, looks like Mythics and the Rare Land Cycle are going to be very difficult to pull in this set. That's really cool artwork. All right, basic land, nobody cares about that. <laughs> Dumbo, I love Dumbo, he's so funny. All right. And oh, clear. What? What's going on here? And oh, am I still in the uncommons? Okay, there's our background. <laughs> Stopped early. And then our etched foil. And another mythic. Carlock. I can't read it because the hammer's in the way. Abernus. For our next mythic with the goofy showcase that I don't like. And then Gold Warbond. And then Michiko Konda. Truth Seeker from Saviors of Kamigawa. So a second rare in the list spot. So we're doing pretty good on the list spot so far. I have no idea how many cards are in the list spot in this set. Um, I was hoping they'd keep it small like the last set. I only had 68 list cards. That just seems more appropriate to me. You know, having just a specific list card for each set. Foot, foot, boots. Price on that one's going to tank. Uh, yeah. Hey, a Volo for another Mythic, finally. And then a rare, Popular Entertainer. It's uncommon, and then another rare, so a mythic and two rares, Call of the Void, Common Fall, and a Soldier Token. That was a pretty decent pack. Got a Volo and two rares. And art card, full basic. And there's our first background, Inspiring Leader. Up Druid, another background, Master Chef. Raised by Giants for our etched rare, and then Intellect Devourer for a rare, and Will, Blade of Frontiers for a rare, and Caves of Chaos Adventure for a rare. So we got four rares. An etched foil, a regular foil, and two regular rares. That was a pretty, pretty stacked pack full of rares. I'm going to argue with that. I don't know that if any of them were really super good rares, but we got four in one pack. That's pretty good. All right, let's keep going here. See what we can find. Jellyfish for our first rare. A legendary creature is a rare. 
And then our background's uncommon. Uncommon Etchful. And then a real rare Miracle Lord of Bones. And then Uncommon Fall and Initiative Undercity. Took it again. All right, getting down there. Hey, we got an upside down pack. We got an upside down pack. Oh my God, what's in the upside down pack? That's gotta be a special one. See if we get something exciting in there. Could be special. Could be that, that case hit. <laughs> there's, a, there's a numbered card in there. Let's put it upside down. Probably not. <laughs> Tavern Brawler for our background. Common foil, etch foil, and a rare Wizard of Thay. And then just basically in a skeleton. So that pack was very weak to make up for the last pack that was good. Although the Wizards of Thay does have Myriad, so I think these Myriad cards have some potential to them. Because I think when people start using them, they're going to see that that Myriad can probably cause a lot of damage. Gorgeous Lightning Bolt. Uh, I don't like the uh, showcase design, but it looks really good at the Lightning Bolt. The artwork is really cool on that one. All right. Got a rare legendary creature, Jahira. Uh, background uncommon. A rare uh, etched foil. And then a rare Windshaper Planeteer. And another rare foil. So four rares in that pack and a list card from Betrayers of Kamigawa. Toils of Night and Day. All right. So that was a pretty decent pack. Four rares and a list card. Nice. And oh, yeah, it was Gorguts. Gorguts. If you guys like metal, check out Gorguts. It's so good. Such a good band. All right. Anyways, <laughs> look at this big old dude. Big old dude spitting on you. He says lay off the Twinkies, maybe. Just saying. All right. <laughs> Master Chef again. Inspiring leader for its uncommon. Astarion's Thirst for a rare, and Glunch the Bestower for a second rare, and then just a common foil, and another initiative in Undercity. Okay, here's the upside down pack. Oh, it was upside down and upside down. Upside down and backwards. All right. So, let's see what happens. Are you going to bring in some luck, boo? Boo! All right. Hmm. Boo's fun. Yeah. Maybe now there's enough boo cards to actually build a boo deck. That would be, that'd be neat. <laughs> Just throw hamsters at everybody. Holy backgrounds, Batman. Uh, there's two backgrounds in a row. Okay, that's weird. All right. Our uh, first rare, Gorion Wise Mentor. Street Urchin. And then another rare, John Ericona Shelter, Shelter One, or Shattered One. And then Kindred Discovery for a third rare. And then Murder Token. Or Murder Flow. And a minigame. All right, so nothing too exciting, but we did get three rares on pack, and we got an extra background. That was unusual. All right. Last start card. Last pack, come on. We need a Mythic. We only got three Mythics so far. That is just weak. There's a background. Uh, Orc Ranger. Gorion again. Is that the third or fourth one? <laughs> that might be the fourth one we've gotten. Terminal Pass, Shameless Charlatan again, and Sea of Clouds once again for our only rare land in the box. So we only got three Mythics, <laughs> Packed Weapon, uh, Carlatch, and Volo, Carlatch, Carlatch, I don't know, and one, rare, one land again, Sea of Clouds, that's the only land I've pulled. I've got four Sea of Clouds and nothing else from the rare lands now. <laughs> All right, and then our list was Pretty neat. We got some little Kamigawa stuff. Toils of Night and Day from Champ or from Betrayers. Michiko Kondo from Saviors. And then we got Guild Pack Ghostway and a Perpetual Timepiece from Kaladesh. So, very weird. I think we got a place at a Gorion, didn't we? Uh, one, two, Jeez, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. And I think I put some of the wall in here. So 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Pretty good on rares. 35, 36, 
37, 38. Got 38 rares in the box, which is pretty good for how few pet how uh, the few packs that are in there, but we got so much duplication. Um I know we got a couple charlatans too, so we got one, two, three, four, we got four wise mentors, and three of them are the exact same um just regular border and everything. We got Two nine fingers keens at least. Let me see. And then uh the charlatans. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Oh, we got two shattered ones. And two charlatans. And yeah. So a lot of duplication. Two shattered ones, two charlatans, two keens, and then a full playset of the uh, wise mentors. Very weird on the duplication. Uh, it's been happening since Strixhaven. These, the way they're doing the track printing now is just, you'll end up with a whole bunch of one and none of another. So there you go. There you have it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Check out the description below. A lot of good links on there. Save your money, get your cash back on all your purchases. All the links are legit. I use them all. I wouldn't put it down there unless I trusted it. Uh, just trying to get you guys value. It's all free money down there. So check it out and click on those links. Helps out the channel as well if you want to help support me without it costing you anything. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate your time and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.